Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about the clutch, what is clutch and how the clutch works. Now, I'm not going to make you a mechanic. This channel is not all about making you a mechanic, but it's all about becoming a driver, how to learn to drive. So I'm going to give you enough information about the clutch so that you know as a driver as much as you need to know so that you become good and master of how to use the clutch because the difference between an automatic and manual is the clutch the more you know about the clutch more knowledge you have about the clutch more better you're going to move the car more better you're going to drive the manual car let's start the lesson so first of all what is clutch and like i said this video is not all about making you a mechanic of the car I'm just sharing the information you need to know as a driver. So the information that you need for the clutch, you will be different than becoming a mechanic. So let's talk about why you need to know as a driver about the clutch. Now clutch is all about two discs, two plates, okay? One of the plate is connected to the engine and one of them is connected with the gearbox. So they both are like that together when the engine is off. Soon as you start the car and you put the clutch down to the floor, it goes apart. Both of the discs goes apart. When it goes apart, the engine is not connected with the gearbox now because the clutch is down. So when the clutch is down, what happens? You disconnect the engine with the gearbox. There is no connection soon as you put the clutch down. For the clutch to work and for the wheel to drive with the clutch, you need to bring the clutch to the biting and then it will work. So now the clutch is down, the, both of the clutches is apart and you are in first gear. As you bring the clutch up, both of the discs comes together. Both comes together. If you bring it slow, quickly, it's gonna stall the car. Okay, this is very important for you to remember. So when you put the clutch down, it goes apart. And if you bring it up quickly, you're gonna stall the car. For you not to stall the car and for you to move off smoothly, you need to bring the clutch up slowly. So the disc comes together and they work together. This is really important for you to know, okay? Make sure you remember this picture in your mind that soon as I put the clutch down, it goes apart. And if I bring the clutch up quickly, I'm gonna stall the car. So what do you have to do? You put the clutch down, you go to first gear and the both of the disc is apart now, okay? So clutch is down, both of the disc apart. Okay, one is connected to the engine, one is connected to the gearbox. For both of them to work, for me to move the car and drive the car, they both need to work together. Okay, now how do I bring the clutch up? Slowly. So what happens? They both come together. Okay, you bring up, you bring up, and then you bring up to the where? To the biting point. When you bring up to the biting point, now they are working together. Now they are working. Okay, you give a little pause to the biting point, and they're working soon as the car moves off gradually bring the clutch all the way up and now they're both working okay i hope you understand that and you understand why it stalls is because many learners they bring up really quickly and both of the discs comes together and you stall the car okay like i said for you to move off smoothly and for the clutch to work to move the car smoothly move off smoothly you bring the clutch up slowly as you bring the clutch up, both of the discs comes together and then it works together. If you are learning and you need help on learning and passing the driving test, don't forget to take the advantage of our online course. The course gives everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass the driving test. It has everything a learner needs. I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. Have a look and see and read and if you like it, you could always join the course. The other question is, do I need to give any gas when I move the car off? Many learners, they ask me that question. Is that my instructor told me to give gas or my instructor told me not to give gas? And they, they give different answers. And I could only tell you what I know. And I've been doing this for 20 years. Is that for you to move the car, you need petrol. You couldn't move the car without any petrol or diesel. It's not gonna happen, it's not gonna move. So soon as you start your car, the petrol goes to the engine anyway and for you to move you put the clutch down because it's the clutch moves the car you put the clutch down and then you go to gear so you go to first gear and then you bring the clutch up slowly it comes to the biting point when it comes to the biting point what does it need it needs petrol 
to move the car. Like I said, when you start your car, the engine has little gas anyway. But the problem is you have diesel and you have petrol. With a diesel car, it's more easier to move off because you don't need to give as much gas. The gas is already there. Soon as you bring the clutch with biting, it will just move without giving any gas. But when you're driving a petrol car, that's when you're gonna problem is that if you don't have some gas or if you don't give any gas, you probably will stall the car. Especially if you buy an older car, it probably will stall every time. So you need to learn to move in a way so that after you pass, you don't have any problem moving the car even if you buy a petrol car because you might not buy a diesel car which you're not going to have problem moving off without giving any gas but if you buy a petrol car you might have problem moving off without giving any gas so i say learn so that it doesn't matter what car you buy whether it's a diesel car or a petrol car learn so that you put the clutch down you go to first gear and you give enough gas how much flat road you give 1500 rev and uphill you give 2000 rev there are many videos on clutch on my channel i will leave the links of those videos on the description for you to have a look if you haven't seen it already but yes going back to this video so you give enough gas if it's flat you give 1500 if it's uphill you give 2000 and then what do you do you bring the clutch up slowly to the biting make sure the gas is there according to is it flat or up and you bring up to the biting like i said the place comes together to the biting and hold it to the bite and it's working when the car moves off fully bring the clutch up all the way give a little bit more gas change gear and carry on going so i hope i've answered the question do i need to give any gas when i'm moving the car off i hope you understand that if you're learning in a manual car this is the difference between an automatic and manual in a manual car you must understand how the clutch works in the beginning many learners they have problem with the clutch is because they don't understand the clutch in the beginning. So they have many lessons until they do, and then they eventually get to know the clutch and they learn the clutch and they master the clutch. But I say the more you know about the clutch, more knowledge you have about the clutch, it becomes easier for you to learn. It becomes easier for you to master the clutch. Why? Because you have the knowledge, you know how it works. And what I've seen with my learners, soon as I explain to them about the two plates, which makes the clutch, and as you bring the clutch up, you bring up slowly. If you bring up quickly, it will stall. Soon as I explain that to them, what I notice, they have a picture in their mind about the clutch with the plates. And as they bring the clutch up, it plays in their mind, or oh, there's the plates. I want to make sure I don't go too quickly. And it works. It helps them to master the clutch. So I hope this information is enough for you to understand the clutch. And hopefully the knowledge will help you to master the clutch like i said many learners they have many lessons on clutch until they master the clutch i hope it helps if it does please do give a thumbs up and please do make a comment what you think of the video and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe so don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video bye for now